a dancer, a singer, and brewer, and the current head of the opera in Liwei. That will be Yu Jin, the stage Luchita. So let's get started talking about her information. Yujin is a playable Geo character in Genshin Impact. She's a prestigious dancer, singer, and brewer in Liwei who works at the Heiyu Tea House. Yujin is a female character in Genshin Impact. Her weapon is a polearm and her vision is Geo. Her birthday is May 21st. And her constellation is Opera Grandis. Her nation is Liwei. She has two, three affiliations, those being with Yuhan Opera Troupe, which is on profile, Heia Tea House, and the Yun family. Her special dish is Crowd Shadow Jade, which is a variant of Lotus Seed and Bird Egg Soup. She became a playable character on January 5th, 2022. Unlike other characters, this opera performer has two voice actors, which is the same for each localization of Genshin Impact, as for Yu Jin's amazing singing brought by Yang Yang. But for full speaking voice actors of Yu Jin, they are Judy Alice Lee in English, He Ren Xiao in Chinese, Koriwai Katori in Japanese, and Sa Moon in Korean. Yujin has two titles, those being Stage Lukita and Current Head Director of the Yuhan Opera Troupe. Yujin is an elegant young woman of slightly below average height with a fair complexion. She has hip length jet black hair with purple highlights, styled in a Hime cut. Her eyes are a witch red with prominent red makeup painted at the corners. Her clothing consists of a puffy long sleeve, near length dark purple dress, with a white underskirt layered above her underskirt is a dark purple overskirt divided in the middle, split into five sections. Her dress has a white mandarin color fastened with a red clover leaf knot, as well as a detailed black corset-like belt, stabbed it with gold. Her geo vision is pinned on her left side of her cape and a gold geometric symbol of unknown origin on her right hip. Her long her leg wear consists of translucent lavender tights with a pair of knee-high laced-up dark purple boots. Eugene's most prominent accessory is a large dark purple hat inspired by traditional opera house headdresses. The underside of the hat has a white base with fluffy pom-poms in various sizes spoon to it, ranging from pink to bright turquoise to white. At the back of the hat are two turquoise braided like tassels, slightly longer than Eugene's hair. Eugene is a skilled director playwright and singer who is world-renowned throughout Liwei for her plays. Enjoying the passion and going to many lengths to ensure that everyone who watches her performances leaves satisfied, while appearing to be refined and graceful in formal occasions, she is also known to be extraordinarily friendly in private. She draws inspiration from many sources for her plays. She enjoys wide varieties of special drinks as one of her pastimes and she can write a play about one if she enjoys it. Despite enjoying her passion, she also enjoys varieties while she gets along with the troupe in her theater related issues. She frequently clashes with over personal affairs as she feels that they are too traditional. She is particularly fond of rock and roll, visiting Jian 
and watching her performances at least three times a week, no matter how busy she is. Jian believes that she comes to visit her due to the fine arts being suffocating. She tries to keep her visits a secret, and her interest in non-traditional music will cause much consention among her elders. Cloud Gaze and Strike is Yu Jin's normal attack. The normal attack performs up to 5 constructed spear strikes, while the charge attack consumes a certain amount of stamina to lunge forward, dealing damage to opponents along the way, and the plummeting attack plunges from mid-air to strike the ground below, damaging opponents along the path and dealing AoE damage upon impact. Opening Flourish is Yu Jin's elemental skill. Miss Yoon may just be acting out fights on stage, but sheer skills with the spear are real enough to defend against her foes. Using press, flourishness, her pole arm in a cloud's grasping stance, dealing geo damage, and using hold takes up the opening flourish stance and changes up, forming a shield damage absorption in base of Yu Jin's max HP and has 150% effectiveness against all elemental damage and physical attacks. The shield lasts until she finishes unleashing her elemental skill. When the skill is released, when its deterioration ends, or when the shield breaks, Yu Jin will unleash a charged energy as an attack, dealing geo damage. Based on time spent charging, it will un either unleash an attack that changes to level 1 or level 2. Criff Breaker's Banner is Yu Jin's elemental burst. It deals AoE geo damage and grants all nearby party members a flying cloud flag formation. With flying cloud flag formation, when normal attack damage is dealt, to the opponents, bonus damage will be dealt based on Yu Jin's current DEF. The effects of this skill will be cleared after a set deceleration or after being targeted at a specific number of times. When one normal attack ha hits multiple opponents, the effect is triggered multiple times according to the number of opponents hit. The number of times that the effect is triggered is counted independently for each member of the party with flying cloud flag formation. True to oneself is Yu Jin's first ascension pass skill. Using opening flourish at the precise moment when Yu Jin is attacked will unleash its level 2 charge hold form. Breaking Conversations is Yu Jin's 4th Ascension Passive Skill. The normal attack damage bonus granted by Flying Cloud Flag Formation is further increased by 2.5%, 5%, 7.5%, of Yu Jin's DEF when the party contains characters of 1, 2, 3, 4, and the mental attacks, respectfully. Light Nourishment is Yu Jin's utility pass skill. When perfect cooking is achieved on a food with adventure related effects, there is a 12% chance to obtain double the product. Heiyu Tea House has been a popular leisure spot for the people of Liwei. Its business strives on two things, one of them being its boss. Fan Ri's business acclaimed in visiting a top-notch tea master who tells the best stories of all. Besides that, there is also the performance of the acclaimed trope, Yu Han Opera Troupe. Its director in Seoul, a famed opera singer named Yu Jin, takes the stage at the tea house from time to time while one can always get delicious delicacies or good storytelling as long as no one knows where to look. Eugene's performance does not just await one there. As a result, you can always find fans of Eugene trying their luck at Haiyu Tea House while waiting for Eugene's performance. They discuss her past performances and how they feel about them. As such, more people frequent the tea house, with 9 out of 10 of them being Yujin's fans. Fan Ri 
couldn't be more satisfied with this state of affairs. Liwei Opera is one of the traditional arts of Liwei that has been passed down from generations. Liwei Opera enjoys a long history and it has gone through quite some changes from what it was originally created to be. The good thing is, the Liwei Opera we see now retains the suffocated sounding vocals and racially revired melodies of old. Liwei Opera performers usually perform in tropes and the most acclaimed of one is the Yu Han Opera Trope. For generations, the trope has been run by an historic house of Yun, and its current director is the prominent figure in Liwei Harbor, the opera singer Yu Jin. Yu Jin made her name at a young age when she stunned an audience with her sweet voice and lively costumes in her debut performance. The one more she performs, the better honored her animated and dramatic style becomes. Whenever it's a delicate and defined young lady, or a mighty and honorable heroine, she can play any role. What's even rarer is that this young actress is also a playwright. Other than the divine damsel of devastation, the Yuhan opera trope has performed many other new plays in recent years, all of which were written by Yujin. With her superb skill, it is no, no wonder why longtime opera fans often visit Yihan Chi Tea House to ask Yujin about performances schedule when their striving ears determine good opera singing. Yujin was born in a family of Liwe opera performers. Her father is a playwright, and her mother used to be a famous opera singer in Liwe. Harper taking up the mantle from Yujin's grandfather. In such an environment, Eugene was exposed to Lily Opera at a very early age, often assuming herself by echoing her mother's singing. A childhood hobby, as many would tend to believe, seems unlikely to be developed into a lifelong career, yet Eugene proved to be an exception. She was serious about it and insisted on learning the art. Her parents were delighted to see their daughter's determination and imparted everything they knew about the Liwei Opera to her. As such, Eugen started learning the opera early. However, Liwei Opera is a complex art that takes years of perfection to master. So even for a child as gifted as Eugen, what awaited her was sweat and tears. While ordinary children might shy away from the pain of of hamstring stretches and the tedium of memorizing lyrics, little Eugen hung Vu and became quite accomplished. By the time she finished all the subjects in Liwei Opera, veterans of Yuhan Opera Troupe who watched her grow up couldn't help but exam acclaim. Yet another rising opera star is about to shine upon Liwei Harbor. Many veterans of the Yuhan Opera Troupe first joined the troupe when Yu Jin's grandfather was in charge. They have remained committed since Yu Jin took the troupe role. Their love for the art of Liwei Opera is so deep, perhaps even to an extensive degree, that they are fond upon by any other forms of music performance, including rock and roll. Yu Jin, however, thinks otherwise. She finds that rock and roll vibrates with vigor and even becomes friends with the rock and roll musician Zhe Yan. Elders of the troupe are glad to follow Yu Jin's lead during rehearsals, but when it comes to daily life, they treat her like their little granddaughter. Sweetie, listen to us. No spicy food. It hurts your voice. Meat is fine, but we refrain from eating too much, or you will put on weight. If you really can't help yourself, have some more shrimp. Stay away from the rocking hold thing, all they know is yelling. These killing arrows will nag Eugene about attending rock and roll performances from hours on end, faced with the impossible mission of pursuing stubborn granddads and grannies, Eugene has to be creative. While it's not an important option to go to Zhi Yuan's performances, it's perfectly acceptable to visit Fan Ri's adopted daughter Jin Yan and discuss Li Wei Opera with her. The elders are not fond of rock star Jin, but they have taken a shine to Jin Yan. 
the adopted daughter of Fan Eri. I've heard that Jian can cook and do embroidery. She must be a polite and accomplished young lady. Yujin may be able to pick up a thing or two from hanging out with her. How capital. Yujin has long got Fan Yeri to agree with the details considering made up Jin Yen. So don't worry, no one's gonna call her out on this. Yujin goes by many names. To some, she is Director Yoon, and to others, Sir Yoon. They call her Director Yoon for her leadership of the Yuhan Opera Troupe. Though there are managers to help with everyday work, Yujin is the one who makes the big decisions. She thus earns the name of Director Yoon from people in business circles. As for Sir Yoon, that is another story. When Yujin's grandfather was in charge of Yuhan Opera Troupe, Long-time fans respectfully addressed him as Sir Yoon. After Yujin took charge later, these fans frequented her performances as well. There was once after a show when an impressed fan half-joked with others. The Sir Yoon we have now sings rather well too. A voice from the crowd immediately considered by saying, How can you address a young girl as Sir? Upon hearing this, Yu Jin curved her lips. Those who are born early, learn early. They are naturally better both informed than others. It's every bit that right for them to be referred to as sirs. But one doesn't have to be old to acknowledge a bow. Besides, why can't a girl be knowledgeable? You are quick in mind and speech, and thus qualified to be called sir. I have answered your inanimate question. That also makes me a sir. Her remarks impressed the fans' presence, who shared the stories too many. In the end, everyone followed the trend and started to call her Sir Yun, whether they had or not met her in person. Many traditional Liwei operas revolve around the theme of the Adept High and Rex Lapis himself. The prime example would be the Divine Damsel of Devastation. People are full of wonderful fantasies about the Adepti that would like to see the representation of their joy and anger on stage. The stories portraying them make up the majority of the repertoire of Liwei Opera. When Yu Jin was young, she would find these stories engaging, but have exhausted every Adeptal legend in her performing career. Her take on theming gradually changed. Why not experiment with other themes? For instance, stories of our own, perhaps. Stories that tell of our earthly joys and sorrows. Songs that sing of the herds and the passions of humanity. Many of these stories were mere mortals, may not make it as classics of Liwei opera. But there were always to be some people who remembered them. In the love of our linger, in the rage of our hearts burn, and inception, our minds go astray. These emotions go good and bad, lift in the veil that covers our feelings and souls. Eugen is no adeptus. She can never be put herself to in the shoes of the adepti, yet she is embrowed with the most accurate and sensitive gaps of human emotions. So let me sing of human stories. May my brush be the brush of all hearts, and my voice the voice of all souls. This is the unspoken wish that Yu Chen has so far only kept to herself. Her ancestors used to work as weaponsmiths instead of opera performers. Later, someone in the family who was tired of weapon forging grew an interest in the performing arts. By the time it came to Yu Jin's generation, few of the Yun still practiced the art of forging. More forged things have been passed down through the lock shaped copper pendant that Yu Jin carries with her, is one of such items. In her childhood, she often practiced dancing for a whole day under the scorching heat of the sun. Sometimes she would even faint from the exhaustion. Her parents' heart ached for her, but they knew well that she had to go through such things to lay on a solid foundation. 
So instead of stopping her, they gave Yu Jin the lock in the hopes that it would keep fortune and health within her. Since then, the lock has never left Yu Jin's side. Before everything, every performance, it is routine for Yu Jin to reminisce about those days of bittersweet training by cleaning the lock with great care. It feels as if she was carrying the developed heart of the little Yu Jin who was learning the opera. Shortly after Yu Jin's debut, Yu Jin quickly got to hang of stage performance throughout dozens of shows, and her great intelligence at the time her appearance meant the whole night of applause for a performance. However, the more she played, the more she felt at loss. These were not the operas she wanted to perform. In every opera, the pitch and tempo would invariably go either up or down to indicate drama or doldum. As time passed by, the vage of various characters seemed to blend and blur. The music would come on, followed by the neat dance and then her sweet voice. The girl in Divine Damsel Devastation seemed no different from the fisherman's daughter in String of Pearls. While the audience did not object, Yu Jin was not satisfied. Is skillful singing and dancing all it takes to tell a moving tale? What broke her bottle neck was the opera named Snow Trending. It was a monodrama about a strangest walk in the snow. It happened to be a snowing day when Eugene first performed the opera. Having gone astray in the snow, the character felt lost and limit her helplessness. Somehow, the snow is the story seemed to fall into reality. Eugene, who has also found herself adrift, felt as if she had become her character. That was what she had been looking for, the feeling of leaving herself behind and walking in the shoes of many characters she played. To breathe, to live, and to smile just like them. That was the opera she had wanted to sing, the story she wanted to tell. One about true emotions, a world built on tens of thousands of individuals who live lives of their own. Yu Jin could no longer recall how she returned backstage after the impivity. All she knew was that she, when she finally had time to take off her costume, she found a vision in her sleeve. Yoon means cloud, and Jin means pansy, a genius of violet flower. It is a hoodlum of Yu Jin, a luxurious silk robe usually worn by the emperor. Yu Jin's constellation, Upper Grandis, means great work in Latin, which alludes to the role as director of Yu Han Opera Troupe. And the Yu Han Society means writing of the clouds. Fact 1 Yu Jin's reason for picking up the palm arm was to assist in her stage fights during her plays. Although she can handle herself in an actual fight due to this training. Fact 2 The opera String of Pearls was written by Yu Jin, who also stars as the main female lead, Zixin. Fact 3 Yu Jin is the second playable character of Li Wei, who goes by her full name, with the first one being Hu Tao. Fact 4 Yu Jin's is the second character to feature two separate voice actors for one language, the first being Diona in for English. Although the latter was only temporary, she is the first character to have two different language speaking voice actors for one language. She is also the first character to have one voice actor, Yan Yan, appear in four voice act voiceover languages. Fact 5. Yu Jin is known by these titles or aliases. Sir Yoon and Director Yoon. And that's Yu Jin. Now we are almost done talking about Li Wei characters, but we should talk about the god of Li Wei himself, that being Zhang Li. So stay tuned for that, maybe. I'll draw in a bonus for a certain child since he was featured in the Li Wei arc and is a playable character, so see ya later.